<laughs> gotcha. Hey, welcome back to our stupid reactions. You did some Corbin. I'm Ray. And follow us on Instagram and Twitter, and Twitter and content. Two. Thank you for us on Patreon, follow on Facebook, Twitter, and ring the bell to turn on notifications. Squad. It's so juicy. Uh, today we are doing a movie review. You know what I should have done? Watch the movie. Yep. Ah. Uh, oh well. I'll wing it. What are you gonna do? I'll wing it as always. You know uh, what I'll say about this film? What? The piano playing was unacceptable. The director should have. <laughs> was it piano playing? There was no piano. Okay, playing. good. Uh, <laughs> Uh, we watched Sturie, which it was a long time coming. We, this is one of the really early films we reacted to, I feel like. It was. It was like... We didn't know who Rajkumar for sure was when had, we saw it. We didn't know anybody was in this. Yeah. Uh, and I think it was probably... And it wasn't a very good trailer. I, I remember not understanding because I don't know if you remember it at all. I, I don't. Think it was, I remember that, Go Go Agon, which we watched at the same time. I think it was them in the temple... And they were they were all scared. They were and they were blah, but we didn't understand. I think all I remember was saying what I would typically say. Let me know if this has demonic stuff because if it does, I'm not interested. <laughs> and then when we found out it was okay, we're like, maybe we'll watch it in October when it's close to Halloween. But it was last spring, I think. Yeah, yeah. So it's been a long Sorry. time coming, guys. Sorry. I it was good we waited. I think it gave us a greater appreciation. Well, yeah, since we've seen more of Raj Kumar Rao yeah. uh, and stuff like that. Uh, but yeah, you want to read the synopsis for me? I do. People get scared by a lady who floats with ugly feet. Just kidding. That was my synopsis. That's true. <laughs> um, <laughs> in, in the small town of Chandari, the oh. menfolk... You don't hear that word very the often. menfolk? Yeah. That's a throwback that's back there. I don't know. You know, I like Los Angeles. I'm just not particularly fond of the menfolk. Well, that's a fact. Yeah. Uh, the menfolk live in fear of an evil spirit named Stree, who abducts men in the night. Well, I don't know why that would scare you, because for a lot of men, it's a fantasy. Based on the urban legend of Nate Ba that went viral in Karnataka? Yes, in the 1990s. Stree means woman? It does? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Pretty oh. sure. All right. Uh, so, cool. like, the Stree woman is a woman woman. Oh. Uh, <laughs> Stree woman. Stree I, I do believe, unless I'm incorrect, that's what it means, right? Stree is woman. I am. Uh, hey, I believe you. Anyways, I've been wrong before. <laughs> 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 like, in the, uh, the, tri uh, the song we did the other day with the promo, I said, Yo Yo Honey Sing was the movie, and that's the, the rapper. <laughs> yes. But hey, you know what's great about that? You're committed, man. Well, I would like, Lagan is a true story. That's a fact. <laughs> I read it on the internet. Uh, anyways, 100% spoiler review. Yeah. So just go watch it and come back. The only time, by the way, we will never do a spoiler review technically, well, we will at the end, mm -hmm. if it's a new release. If it's like in theaters, we'll give you the first half, our opinion, to not spoil it, and then we're going to talk about it for those who've seen it, and we can get in depth. So this is straight out the gate. Going to be... Rotten as old meat. Initial thoughts, Rick. I almost did what I've done before. R S Q P T. Yes. Um, you know what I love before I give you my initial thoughts? What? When I don't like something, mm -hmm. stupid babies think I'm an idiot. I do too. They say Corbin's right. Mm -hmm. I am. But when I like something, they love me. Mm -hmm. Yes. So what are they going to be this time? They're going to love me. Okay, good. <laughs> <laughs> So you liked it, though. I thought this was a lot of fun. Yeah, so. that's what I. That's the word I came out of it. I yep. was like, that was fun. So much fun. No, like, not like fun, like because uh, different ones. It's a different kind of fun from the other, like romantic comedies fun. Because there wasn't any Bollywood numbers in this. There was some. That's the end. end. There was some songs. Yeah, but not really some like big Bollywood numbers. Not at all. This was actually a very different genre than they do anymore anywhere. Anywhere. I, I wish, wish they did more of this. Uh, my wife said it was like, what? Um, it's very similar to Ghost in the Chicken or Private Eyes. Good call. Very John Knotts and Carmen. Yeah. Very. You're a very good call. Because I was trying to, while we were watching, because originally I was like, this is a comedy. But this is more of a, a horror, not really a horror. Uh, it's a scary movie. Yeah. Um, that has a few jump scares. It's not really that scary. 
Um, no. And they, but it is, it's not, the little kids would be terrified. I think it's, it. they wanted to make a film that was kind of almost making fun of horror a little bit, but not yes. a scary movie. No. Um, but then with some dry humor in it. Yes. Because like, it's not like, it's not like Jelly Belly where there's busting your gut. No. Laughing. Just it's more of like little quips like the person says what does he say i'm 70 percent hurt or, or like i'm only 70 percent effective right now yeah I'm or just, completely like straight faced yes or the consistently um trippity saying uh i know everything yeah <laughs> <laughs> yeah and so i i i liked it because i couldn't think of what like a similarity because like um there's some ones like there's one with uh the director um Vishal Bardwaj. No. Sanjay Lee Banzan. Of the Nazi one this year, though. Oh! Uh, 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 Taka Wichiti. Uh, his, his film called uh, What We Do in the Shadows, it's a, a dark mockumentary comedy. Yeah. Um, and so it's every, they're taking everything seriously, and it's just like this, and so it's not like your plans for the joke. You're saying this, and they're saying this all in seriousness, but you know it's ridiculous. Right. Um, but that one's a little even more heightened comedy than this, but that's the closest I could have come to, because, like, Zombieland's more, it, it has funny, funny stuff. Which it. I haven't seen. Yeah, and yeah. so, but it's, you know, it's zombie. No, and it's like not that. like, it's really not like anything else. Like, that's a why, great, that's a great example. If it, you haven't seen Ghost and Mission Chicken, Chicken or Private Eyes, you're like me. Uh, no, but <laughs> they're classic old, any of Don Knotts' old stuff, which really carries the torch from... Abbott and Costello movies where Abbott and Costello meet the werewolf. Mm -hmm. You know, those are the... It's... But, yeah, I... I it's own thing. I really enjoyed that Me aspect too. of it. I... It's, it's a... I... It... Don't, there's only a... Two parts where uh, the subtitles went a little fast at the beginning with Raj Kumar's character. I... Absolutely. Just, 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 just too quick to follow. Um, yeah. But we could talk about him. I... He's a phenomenal actor. We've only seen him in a few things, and we're gonna... We need to explore more, because I don't even think we've seen his best stuff. I agree. But they're all so different. Mm -hmm. Which is what I love. Me too. Because uh, if we would've saw this first, I was like, that's a weird actor. I would've thought that's who he was. Me too. I would've categorized him as the guy you cast to be in this kind of campy, nerdy, weird, nerdy film. quirky. Uh-huh. Um, and stuff, it's stuff like that, but... Then, then you see he, him in Newton, you'd be like, whoa. And then you what? see him, what he was in Gangs. Gangs, right. You're and like, what? And so there's, he's such a really good actor because this could have been played really poorly. Very poor. Every, every role. Yes. Every role could have been done. This movie could have been trash. Mm -hmm. um, the translation of this from script to screen was dependent upon the direction and the cast in a way that... And the way they... Not a lot of films are this dependent on it. And the way they played the comedy too. Yes. Because if they would have played to the jokes... It would have been bad. No, and that's kudos to the direction uh, because he, that was that was somebody who had a very clean grasp on what this movie was supposed to be mm -hmm. and communicated it to everybody. Mm -hmm. I think from table read to rap, mm -hmm. this was everybody was clear on you're what not, kind of a movie we're making. You're not trying to be funny here. Right. You are being serious in this moment. This is who your character is. Right. The joke will come with the audience knowing it. Exactly. So it's you just have to know that as the actor, and it's difficult sometimes for the actor to just give that up because they're like, oh, I want to be funny here. Yeah, but you you can't you be can't funny. Play the funny. It, it will it will it will destroy the film. It's, and yeah, they pulled it off here. I also want to talk about the the main lead. She actually didn't have a ton of acting to do. No. The, uh, what, you know it? where we've seen her before? Yeah, we've seen her in, um, um, Heather. Sorry. Mm -hmm. Um, but she did really, really well. I thought her character, um, was really cool, and I'd like to talk about it, uh, and your theories, and, and all that kind of stuff, but I think the, with what she was given, she did really, really I well. I did too. I thought, I thought everybody was well cast. The two friends. Yeah, the quirky, weird friends yes. I thought were perfectly casted. And say his name for me. Oh, I I always just refer to him as Tripathy. Oh, uh, but uh, Pankaj, I believe, is how you pronounce his first name. We've we've seen him a lot. He is brilliant. He's always fantastic. I was excited that I knew he was in this going in mm -hmm. to see this new notch in his belt of his capacity with comedy. Mm -hmm. 
I love this guy. What is he? Yeah, I want to because we've we've loved him in Newton. Obviously, we we sung his praises in Newton, and he was in gangs and, and in gangs. Um, I I want to see like him and his at his. Oh, we saw him in um, oh. yeah, the Sacred Sacred Gums. Sacred Gums. Who yeah. really did amazing. Yeah. Um, he's he's one of my favorite. He'd be after this. I would put him well into my top ten, male and female. Mm -hmm. Top ten actors in India that yeah. we have seen. I'd like that to I have great him respect more. for. Does he? Is he usually the the supporting character? Because there are actors like Paul Bettany. Like he'd be equivalent to a, a guy who like Paul Bettany who always brings an amazing exactly. performance. Exactly. Like you want you want a role filled with an anchor that's going to yeah. just carry. But your he's film not for you. usually. He right. does sometimes. Not usually the lead in the film. Yeah. Uh, so I'd like to know his best performance because I would like to explore him more because. I think he his character was so weird and quirky. Oh man, and different, so good and so um, could have so like every other thing in this film. This character could have been um, unlikable and arrogant, mm -hmm. but because he's um, unaware of his arrogance, mm -hmm. it makes him likable. Mm -hmm. His I know everything. He means that. Mm -hmm. He means it every time he says it, but he knows deep down he's that's not true. Mm -hmm. That's very hard to do without coming across like you're performing mm -hmm. or going too overkill and you become this, it's just every role in this was so well directed. It's, this must have been a lot of fun mm -hmm. to film. Yeah. Uh, a lot, lot of fun to film. A, a lot of the scenes, especially it, the most, the funniest parts of the film was at the very end and the, the, so it was, I was laughing pretty, pretty hard. I, la uh, <laughs> I loved the whole moment when he's realizing in his mind that he's going to have to have sex with Street. <laughs> And then when he starts taking his clothes off for her, and she, and she keeps yelling, and he's like, okay, I'll take off more. Mm -hmm. uh, and I thought it was also quite endearing that, you know, the whole sub-story of that maybe she's actually not bad and she's looking for her true love. I love that twist of maybe the reason she's haunting isn't because she's bad. Maybe she's haunting because she's just looking for the love that she lost. Do you know who she was? Who Stri was, philosophically and metaphorically, or like who she was, like who she in the was. story. It was her the whole time. Who? No. Yes. Why do you think she disappeared on the bus? <laughs> how was? How did she stab Stree in the back with the dagger then? It, can't she be in two places at once? <laughs> no. Why not? She's not Stree. She took the the hair at the end, and uh, she she wanted to become Stree. I think she's been trying to be. We don't know who she is, and also exciting news. They're coming out with a sequel and possibly a trilogy. This might be Oh sequel is definitely so I heard I did do some research and they said it's possibly a, like a trilogy, but there's definitely a sequel in the works that's coming out Meg, I don't know if it comes out this year, but it's, it's coming out soon. So that's exciting. Um so we will figure out like the very end what happened. Okay. But uh Stree, in my opinion, was his mother. Ew. Yeah. That's why he kept yelling at her when he was trying to have sex with her. She kept, stop! But also, if so, you, and if he no, knew it? No, no, he didn't know that. He, okay. did, he does not know that. But if you, every time they- Here I am doing her head move. Every time they uh, showed his mother, the, the prostitute, right? And, as, and is that why Stree wouldn't have sex with yeah. her? Yeah. But also, that's why she found love and respect in his eyes. Ah, but also the main thing. I'm buying this. The main thing is every time they showed his mother um, in his house, in the picture, when Shri's um, um, hood got blown back, she was wearing the exact, I don't know what they're called, but she had something in her hair, and then she had the exact same earrings. As Shri? As... Oh, wow, you were paying closer attention than I was. Right? That's, that's the theory, right? Was this your theory? No, no, I had this, okay. I had this before, but she... Okay, so I what's think the relationship? She, she usually catches it automatically, so it's not like I gave that to her. <laughs> okay, so what's the relationship between his mom and, and uh, Shraddha Kapoor? That's that's the that's the thing. Because I thought that the end reveals that the whole time Stree has been a manifestation of Shraddha. No, I think she wanted to be, be because also you know in uh, what's his face uh, Trepathy, uh huh. His book, I thought she she tore out the pages. She tore out the pages because she's been looking for years at how to become Stree or get this power. Because yeah. I think maybe she Stree took one of like her her love or something like that, somebody she cared about maybe. Her, her father, I don't know who. Um, that's that's my theory, is that, uh, so she was trying to get revenge on Street, and so she figured out that um, Rajkumar 
was the uh, was the son the, the chosen the chosen one, one. Yeah. uh and, and all that and so she employed him and kind of conquered. now you're making me want to watch it again yeah i like this theory yeah it's good stuff huh? i do if that's not the theory that's what it should have been because that's way more interesting yeah um and so I'm, I'm looking forward to the next one to see what they do with her character also i don't know if even rajkumar would be in it uh or if they would kind of just move on to different People encountering Street and her trying to... Also, because they didn't kill Street. No, she's there at the end looking at the monument they made for yeah, her. Yeah, so her hair grew back, I guess. Can a, a ghost hair grow back? Why not? I don't know. I think so. Do you know, babe? I don't know. <laughs> what was your theory? I don't have a theory. Oh, yeah, you always have theories. I think what supports your theory is the fact that she won't be... She doesn't abduct him and take off all his clothes. Nope. She won't consummate anything with him. Yep. So every time, like he was when he was taking off his pants, she was screaming because <laughs> <laughs> he was about to have sex yeah, with so his mother. Yeah. So anytime, anytime he took off his clothes, she's like, "Stop! I don't yeah. and want you that they way." They were saying she wanted to find respect and love, right? And she found that in her son. So she's, was, she wasn't looking for a lover, she was looking for her son the whole time? I don't know if that's what she was looking for, but she found that in his eyes. Reminds me of Peter Gabriel's song, In Your Eyes. In your eyes, the light, the heat, your eyes, I am so complete. Look, that song actually fits for street. So look, this was his mother right here, right? Right, kind of creepy looking in the picture. Wait a minute. And she actually had the, uh, on one picture you could see her earrings. I don't know if you can here. Um, did you come up with this theory or did you find it online? No, no, I came up, I, I told her right at the end of it. Yeah? I was like, I was, because you, I, I looked at the picture and then I, when her thing got blown back and you could see that it was the earrings that gave it away for me. No? Yeah. No, okay. I'm, no, I'm, <laughs> I, this is, this is highly plausible for me. Uh, I'm liking this a lot. But yeah, I don't know. Wait, well, yes. Yeah. Right. And the statue says, Oh, Street, protect us. And she's powerless. She cannot protect She can't us. protect anybody from the new anybody. street. Yeah. So that would be the sequel. Scarier. Because there's two of them now. And also, was Street ever protecting anybody? The only one she protected was her son. Her son. Her son. Yeah. Because she never abducted him. Yeah. Even when he was alone. Yeah. But is that because he inadvertently did some of the things that Tripathy was saying you can do to avoid street? No, he never took off his shoes. He didn't. And she also, uh, she never went she in. She also sent his friend back when he was abducted. Good point. Yeah. Like a good mommy. <laughs> <laughs> and she wouldn't have sex with See, her son like a good mommy. You know mother. what? This is a lesson. This movie actually is a deep lesson about how to be a good mom. That's really the core of street. Don't have sex with your son. And then once you've abducted and done what you want with his friends, bring them back. That's a good mother. Yeah. But yeah, I and keep your nasty feet out of our way. We don't want to see your nasty feet, moms. Sorry, I'm going to look up when the uh, the sequel is coming out. Um, but okay, we haven't even talked about something. What? This is supposedly based on true events. At least folklore. Oh, I think it's like folklore. Yeah. Because at the beginning it said ridiculously, yeah. ridiculous, true, something. I freaking love that's that. what it said. Um, so it looks like it said, Street 2 hung indefinitely due to fight between makers. Raj yeah. Kumar Rao and Shraddha Kapoor pair up for another film. Okay, so they're doing another film together, which I would really like to see more of her work. She's, def in this, in this mm -hmm. totally believable as somebody that uh, Raj Kumar Rao's character would become enamored with. Mm -hmm. um, she's a very pretty girl. I felt she was very relaxed and natural. Um, I would really like to see a stretch for her. We've only seen her in two things. Yeah. Uh, but it's my understanding she has quite uh, a high standing in the industry in India. Yeah. Um, so indefinitely do a fight between the makers. I wonder what that's about. Yeah, I don't know. That would be disappointing because I would love a sequel. Because I, I would love some... Uh, answers. Yeah, I would to love to see a sequel of this. Um, but, so you, you can let us know if there's more info about that. Please uh, let us know what Rajkumar Rao, I think, honestly, I think it should be Trapped. You remember Trapped? I do. 
Yeah, that was Rajkumar Rao. Yeah, I know. Rap. I know. I, I know that's one that people have been raving and yelling at us for him. For him. For yeah, him absolutely. To, to watch. That. Um, which and I was interested in watching it anyway. Yeah. Um, and her as well, obviously. But, yeah, obviously we loved it. Let us know Lots what you, of fun. you thought. Let us know your thoughts down below. Let us know why you hate Rick so much. Uh, <laughs> and let us know what you should watch for your next title comes section. And what do you think of his theory, Mike? Oh, that's right. Yeah. I don't need to know you. I don't need your validation. No, I just want to. <laughs> He's not going to look. I want to know what you think.